guys, welcome back to Skinny's Bad Word. It's been a week since my last video, and gosh, I feel kind of guilty that the only thing I've been able to do recently is one a week, but whatever. Okay, I'm still I'm still going. So what do I have to report? After Tuesday's workout with my personal trainer, I really do think he's trying to kill me. I was the most sore I have ever been in my entire life. I couldn't walk straight, I couldn't get out of bed, I couldn't do anything. It was so sore to the point where I honestly felt like maybe I had like torn something in the back of my legs. It was horrible. I went to the gym on Wednesday. Wednesday wasn't too bad. By Thursday, I was so bad. I pushed myself and I went to the gym. And then by Friday, I was like sick. I was ill. I could not go to the gym. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> There's my husband. Guess what, everyone? My husband is retiring and he only has eight days of work left. And I am so excited because he has been a teacher for 31 years. And after eight days from today, we are going to spend the rest of our lives together every day. And by the way, we love each other so much. We like have so much fun hanging out and we always wanna to be together. So that's just a little exciting thing to tell you guys. So back to what I was saying. So on Friday, I was like exhausted. I had to call and cancel my class, whatever. When you have to take a break, you have to take a break. And the other thing is I had signed up for all six days of May Mayhem which started on Sunday. And so I was like, all right, if I'm struggling already by Friday, I'm gonna take off Friday and Saturday and then start again on Sunday. So I did that. Uh, Sunday's May Mayhem workout was unrest. It was exactly what it sounds like. There was no rest. You just go, 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 go. And today's was, um, I never did catch the name of it, but it was also a very difficult one. It was also pretty much go, 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 go. And we had 20 all outs. That means 20 times we had to push it as much as we possibly could. And I was pretty exhausted. At the end of the workout, a girl came up to me that I don't know. I've never seen her in my class. When you're in the class, everyone's kind of going along, but you're doing all these reps, but you're doing it at your own pace. So in today's workout, we would have to do a certain number of reps and then go over to the rower and row and then go back and do reps and row, so on and so forth. I guess, you know, when you're in the class, you kind of notice who goes over to the rower first or whatever. And I, you know, whatever, I just, me being me, I was so proud. At the end of the class, this girl that I didn't know walked up to me and said, you're a beast. Just so y'all know, yes, that is a huge compliment to me. I take that as a very, 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 personal compliment that I would be considered strong. I mean, that's what she meant, you know, I'm strong, I guess. I'm assuming that's what she meant. I'm gonna take it that way because I like the idea of being a beast if that means that I'm strong. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel all braggy now, that's embarrassing. I did cancel with my personal trainer for tomorrow because A, I almost died after my last session and B, I'm trying to do all six May Mayhems in a row and I kind of like realized that maybe I was pushing myself a little too hard and needed a little more rest. So that's what I'm doing. I do not want to hurt myself and then like have to stop and take weeks off. That would be like the worst thing in the world. So I do feel like it's important to listen to your body and know when your body needs a little bit of a rest. That being said, I can tell that I have put on a lot of muscle and my last body scan did reveal that I had in fact gained muscle and I think I've gained even more muscle and I need to go tomorrow and do my body scan so that I can make sure. Hopefully I'm not still gaining fat too. So that's going on and there is one other little thing that I wanted to talk about. So basically, I'm hopefully you guys all kind of know this channel is really all about strong women and it's about women being supportive of women and women standing up for each other and not just being subservient to our male counterparts just because we were born with vaginas. <laughs> I don't know why that has always been a personal passion of mine, but it just has. And because of that, even though I was raised in a very conservative background and, um, you know, I don't really want to get into politics right now, but growing up, I was very conservative. Uh, in my adult years, I've kind of decided that I need to decide for myself what I believe is right and wrong. And so I've kind of changed my opinion on a few political things here and there, including a woman's right to have decision over her own uterus, whether or not she has to carry a baby to full term. I'm not saying I love abortion, okay? So for all of you that don't love abortion, please don't go overboard. That's the way that I feel my family does it. They, If you, they hear that you're pro-choice and they're like, you are a murderer. But I think it's a sad day in our politics when there are men who are deciding for women what they get to do with their own body and whether or not they have a say over their own uterus. That is wrong and I'm sorry, but women, we need to stand up for ourselves, okay? Whether you are conservative or not conservative, please, this needs to be a decision that women make for ourselves. Why is it that there's a group of men 
deciding for women what they can do. That is the epitome of control. And I still, even as a conservative, that if you were pro-life and didn't like abortion, I still don't see how anybody could be okay with that. Okay with the way that it went down in Alabama. In case any of you guys didn't see that video, please look it up. Even though women make up 51% of Alabama's population, the lawmakers are 85% male. So it's not at all representative of the actual general population. Give me a freaking break. Can't there be a few other people that can be in charge? Because that would be a little more representative of the actual general public. Okay, so come on women, like we need to like stand up and make a stand for ourselves and have, be our own voice. I mean, seriously, in politics, it needs to be at least 50% women because we are 50% of the population. Whose idea was it that men get to sit around making all the choices for us? That is just not a smart idea. I mean, come on, we have brains too. So I will leave you guys with that. I'm sorry about all the passion, but it is one thing that I do get very passionate about. Women have rights. We have a voice. We have a brain. We can be strong just like men. And I think sometimes we forget about that or we, I don't know what, do we just think it's easier to let men decide or you know what it really is? This is what it really is. It's really that women don't have as much time as men have because women have to raise all the children. Think about it. How many married couples do you know that when the kids get sick, the husband takes a day off work and the wife gets to go to work? That, that just doesn't happen. It always ends up being the wife that has to give up her career to take care of the babies, okay? Now, sometimes maybe wives want to do that. And if you want to do that, more power to you, that's fine. But I think that we have this world of a, that we've created that's not total equality. It's not. I mean, even with our own bodies, we have not been given equality, okay? So if we were not dealt equality by nature, then that's fine. We can still earn equality in other ways. I know we've made leaps and bounds of progress, but we still have more progress to be made, okay? And one of them is women standing up for other women and women being leaders in our politics and women saying, no, I'm sorry, you men, you don't get to decide for me what I decide. That's a personal choice for me. It's not someone else's decision. <sighs> That's all I wanted to rant about tonight. And I'm still trying to get JLo abs or just to better myself and be a strong woman, to be as strong as I possibly can. I'm gonna leave you with one final exciting thing. Today, while I was at the gym, one of my favorite coaches, Megan, she came up to me and she said, Kelly, you look like you've put on some muscle. Gosh, she noticed. Because I like to be strong. And I hope you guys too. I'll see you next time on Skinny's a Bad Word.